happy day I'm <laughs> and today we are going to experience a living nightmare in real life well not always in real life this is when nightmares become real imagine having a kid and the kid wants the literal doll that's going to open its eyes at night and haunt the house ah she's just casually riding with it this kid is going to be so into like horror no Please, that thing's haunted. But why the ugliest doll there ever was? Why are you making sure it's okay? Why are you pushing it on a swing? I'm not okay. There's a reason why this thing likes to be upside down. You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night, the doll's gonna be upside down, in the corner, on the roof. This doll is gonna cast a spell. It might've even casted a spell on her already. No. Girl, it always looks dirty. Oh my goodness. Good on you, Courtney, for being the supportive parent, cause oh my goodness. So this is a personal nightmare of mine. <laughs> promise you won't freak out when I give birth. And he's like, yeah, 100%, of course I promise. He's gonna throw up! He is actually going to throw up. He's not even at the foot of the bed. He's right next to her and he's <laughs> I keep going back and forth. I don't even know if I would want my significant other to be in the room when it happens. Like I kind of just want like, you know, mom, nurse, midwife, like maybe best friend. I don't know. This isn't making the situation better. This is a worst nightmare when you're at home playing with friends. Their faces! Oh my goodness, oh, are you okay? This is a real life nightmare come true. All I can think of is like, how mad is mom gonna get? This says it all, this right here. We were having fun, now we're gonna have to be so scared for the rest of the night. This isn't one of those things where it's like a vase that like fell down, you could blame it on the dog, don't recommend doing that. This was obviously you guys, and you're in big trouble when mom comes home. This is one of my worst nightmares of hey, all Devin time. Hey, left his phone out here, watch this. <laughs> Do not hit screen mirroring, oh no. So now that now this is going to cast to the TV, and you're just going to be able to see everything that this man looks at, and this man is in his room. You, you left your Private phone time. No problem. Oh no, what's it gonna be? I... What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, messages from dad. This may come as a surprise, but I have feelings for you. Don't tell mom. <laughs> I mean, obviously staged, but imagine if this happened. Like, imagine if you casted your phone to the TV just so, like, everybody at a party could watch the thing, like, the video that you want to show them, and then you forgot to uncast it, and then you went and had, like, a really horrible conversation about everybody at the party. I feel like maybe if you're a good person, this is something you don't have to worry about, but, like, for the rest of us out there, you know... So, I already... Come Didn't want to visit Australia? The snakes no. here just love to no. break into our houses. And you can't stop them, even if it's coming through your- No, no, absolutely no. No, 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 no. I didn't even think this was possible. Number two, okay. gigantic spiders. I'm not no. gonna lie to you. The no, here no. Are no. Massive, but most of them are completely harmless. <laughs> but not this guy, the funnel web spider. You're literally supposed to say these spiders are the giant, but they're completely harmless. Like, that's what you're supposed to say. You're not supposed to show me the funnel spider. Everybody close your eyes. The funnel I'm spider's coming up. Stay away from it, because you might No, get please. Please, There's no. Number one, shark attacks. That is a shame, and thank you so much. I'm fine. I'm good. You know, Canada's treated me quite well, and I think I'm gonna stay, but thank you so much. Here's my worst nightmare. Liter a tornado, and this crowd is just like, doesn't matter, we're watching the game. Like, no! It's not just the fact that it's a tornado, because that's scary enough. It's the fact that you're in a stadium with so many people. Imagine trying to get down the aisle at the same time as 20,000 other people. I was reading the comments, and the comments were saying that, like, this is real. Like, this isn't a joke. This was on the news. I did not want to hear that, but thank you so much. I don't know if I could go down this slide. Like, in theory, it seems like a really fun time, but with the glass underneath my bum, I'm just not sure if I'd be able to do it. Maybe that's why that guy's like on a carpet, because you don't want to look down and just see little people looking like ants down there and realize that you're going down a slide and like one of these little tube pieces could come out at any moment and you'd be flying through the air. No! It does look cool though. I'll never understand people who visit abandoned buildings at night. I just feel like you're asking for something bad to happen to you. Watch this. Girl, why did that sound- why did that sound like a scream? 
Why are you guys in such good spirits? Like when that thing dropped, it's like, ah! <laughs> the comments were like, you killed the ghost. You killed the ghost again. The ghost was standing down there ready to scare you guys and then just gets hit with this radiator thing. Oh, it's another storm. When I was little, my dad used to be like, there's a storm coming. And it scared me so badly because I'm so afraid of just cloud formations that look really weird. I do believe that this is not the actual sound of the video, but those clouds, they're looking ominous as heck. Look, my trousers are getting dirty. Oh, your trousers are getting dirty. Well, you know what I wouldn't do? Did you see those bubbles in there? I wouldn't do it. Oh! No, 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 no. The poor man didn't even want to get his trousers dirty and now his entire day is ruined. I hate when you get so muddy and dirty that you actually have to go home and shower to feel good again. Like, this guy has to sit in the car like this. <sighs> oh, here we have a plane landing on the ocean. I mean, that was a pretty smooth land. This is how you hope that it would go, but I hate flying over oceans for this reason. I hate the idea that if we need to go down, there's no land to go down on. Imagine being stuck in the middle of the ocean and having to wait like hours to be rescued. And this is a giant plane, this is a 747. Like they would have to send out so many people. Like what if you're in like the fifth round of people who are getting rescued because there's just not enough room in like the choppers and you have to sit there and then the ocean does that crazy scary thing it does at night. Ah! I just can't. Ooh, a spooky, spooky basement with a spooky arm in it. Oh. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Oh, he's really, oh, he's at a, he's at a killing distance there. I don't like that at all. That was a really smooth transition though. It just went back to the beginning of the TikTok. This is just a nightmare for me. I just, oh no. No, mm-mm. Imagine waking up one day and like having a pig nose and I mean the bubble that's just that's just the cherry on top This is a real-life nightmare for the dog like he is shocked He can't believe yeah, it big just, a little bit. just a little bit I'd be running too look how scared he looks He can't believe what he's seeing I've been wondering for quite some time do dogs see screens the same way we do I want to know please let me know in the comments Oh a 7.0 earthquake in 2018. <gasps> Get under your desk, kitties! It was nice of the teacher to make sure everybody was under their desk before he went under his desk, but that is a big one. Oh, it cut the lights! Oh, it turned the lights back on! The earthquake just be like flipping the switch. I don't live on a fault line anymore, but when I did, I thought about it every single day. Like when I lived in Vancouver, everyone always talked about like the big one, how it could happen like next year or a hundred years from now. And it like made me so nervous. And my brother has this issue where he like makes it worse whenever I talk about something. I'm like, oh my goodness, like what if the big one hits? And he's like, don't worry, it'll just break your legs. That doesn't help me feel better. My father will never look at me the same. No, no. This happened to me when I was, I think, going into grade nine. And this happened to me and it was the worst. Yeah, are you serious? All you can do is talk to your phone, talk out loud. Your mind is going to start racing so fast and you can't let those thoughts consume you. You just have to talk a lot. All you gotta do is take half a lime, squeeze it out on that lime looks like a rock. It looks like a moldy rock. It looks like a fossil. It, like, that's not a lime. What are you doing? Get that away from your Cheetos! I don't really like my quesadilla. Really? What's wrong with it? I don't know. Okay, that's weird. Well, that's I'm sorry the attitude. About that. Um, would you like me to take it back and get you something else? No, if you could just bring me a box. Okay. So you're gonna pack it, but ready. you want it for free? Why am I getting charged for my quesadilla? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. I- Karen! I hate it so much! They complain to get it free, and then they get it free, but they still take it home. Or they eat the whole thing. Like, that bothers me to a level that I can't even explain. Even if you don't like it, if you ate it, or if you're eating it, then you should probably pay for it. And it was okay when I worked at like a large chain restaurant, but when people do this to small businesses, like it makes me so upset. Are you me? Oh no. Oh, what's he gonna... 
Okay. I mean, it, it is like a nightmare of mine to be with somebody who really doesn't like gaming or like just really doesn't like the things that I like and like holds it against me. That's really just, oh, it's my worst nightmare. Oh, this is just lucky timing for the person who is about to get owned. Really, really lucky timing, but like that little ball is flying pretty fast. I feel like it could have done some damage if he didn't lower his head right at the right time. When she wants her mail, but it's your lunch break. Please just let the man drink his juice, his freshly cold pressed juice. Leave him alone. If he's not actively working, don't question it. Just give him his time. He's just trying to sing his song and this Karen's just not letting it happen. I feel like Karens are a lot of what nightmares are made out of. Oh, a working man's hands. They're cutting the ring off of it because he can't get it off. Ooh, I guess olive oil didn't work. Oh my. Oh, those hands be looking sore. This is a man who works hard. Oh my goodness, yeah, you, there's no two ways about it. Those are so calloused. They are so dusty. They're so chalky. Why did the finger around the ring get so swollen? Is it because he wore it too long or did he hurt himself? I don't know. I'm worried about this man. I don't know about this. It looks like one of those popping videos and I just, ugh, I just can't handle them. Those are like an avenue of oddly satisfying that I just cannot get on board with. Every single time it comes up on my TikTok, I swipe so fast in an attempt to tell TikTok, please do not show me popping videos anymore. Here's a classic though. Getting scared by your own face. At least it was a filter though and you didn't just get scared by your face. I feel like that makes it better. A lot of people like to just kind of send all these messages to celebrities because a lot of them like their DMs are open. Oh, but when you get a scene, the regret, the pain. I feel like you would only get a scene though if they follow you, right? Th this has to be fake. I don't know though, I'm not sure. I hate watching people do this because I get scared. Like what if your eye gets stuck? I feel like even if I could do this, I wouldn't because I'd just be so afraid of like your eye getting stuck on the inside. Ooh, it's to the point where it makes me uncomfortable to watch. It's really impressive though what she's doing. Oh, here we have the dirtiest pool ever. Ooh, but at the same time, I feel like this would be really, really satisfying to clean. A nightmare to do though, if you have plans after work or like you really just wanted an easy day that day because you were like sore or you were hungover or something. Like, no, this pool, like you need to get the whole team involved because this is going to take forever. Oh, oh. Well, that's a nightmare. Please, it was that real? Oh, oh, I, uh, no, I, I can't. My mom just came from her room, like we didn't just hear her getting That's an, that's my worst nightmare, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. Oh! I made the smoothie thick enough that you can hold it upside down. And Why would you even want that? No. Oh! I'm so sorry. You don't turn it all the way around when you're checking. You don't do that. You like hold it to the side and see if it like goes up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. I'm sorry if I scarred you for life. Please check out the creators who are featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. I will see you on the next one. Bye.